Another thing you can consider when you're working in AutoCAD is changing your insertion scale. Sometimes you'll get drawings that are imperial and you need to insert data from that imperial drawing into a metric drawing and vice versa. To make things quicker, we can change the insertion scale and utilize a thing called AutoCAD Design Center at the same time. Now, as usual, we've got the drawing all lined up for you. There's 03 changing insertion scale complete that we're going to use for the video. You need to start with 03 changing insertion scale.dwg. It is a blank metric drawing. There's nothing else in it. It's a blank metric drawing. That's all we need to show you how to do this. So we go to the View tab on the ribbon, and in the Palettes panel, you want to click on this little icon here, Design Center. When Design Center opens, what will happen is you'll see it's almost like a Windows Explorer for AutoCAD. Now, if you search in the Folders tab, you will eventually find a Design Center sample folder. So what you need to do is go and find your AutoCAD 2014, 2012, 2013, whichever one you're using. If you scroll down, you'll find a sample folder and then go down and dig a little bit deeper down the file path, get to ENUS Design Center. And you'll see there's a whole shed load of drawings, all with blocks, all in them. And we're in the House Designer, and there's the blocks there. So when you click on Blocks, you'll see all the House Designer blocks here. Now, I know from experience that all of those House Designer blocks are Imperial. So I've got a bathtub there. It's 26 by 60 inches. So if I brought that into my metric drawing, AutoCAD would just think, oh, that's 26 millimeters by 60 millimeters. Doesn't work, does it? So the idea is we need to change the insertion scale. And it's very, very easy to do. Into your drawing area, and you right click, and you go to Options. Now, the Options dialog box is very big. There's a lot of information in it. Don't be scared by it. There's only one thing that you need to change, and it's in your User Preferences tab, and you need to change your insertion scale here. Now, mine's already set the way it should be, because that's the way I work normally. If I'm bringing in Imperial information into a millimeters drawing, the source drawing, in this case, the house designer and design center is in inches. So you find inches in the pull down list. Target drawing is my metric millimeters, my current drawing. So I set that to millimeters. I then OK that. So basically now AutoCAD will know that when I drag an imperial block with the unit set to inches, it'll convert that to millimeters. So I'm now going to click on my bathtub and then left click and drag and bring it into the drawing area. It looks huge. Don't worry, that's just the zoom scale in the drawing itself. If I come out now and make that a little bit smaller, now you can see there, look, can you see, already zoomed out as far as possible down on the status bar. So that means that my limits in this drawing are quite small. It means my bathtub won't fit. So make sure you're in the drawing area and just type limits like so and press enter. Set it to 0, 0, there for the lower left corner. And then I'm going to set that. I'll just move that over so you can see. There we are. I'm going to set that to 5,000, 3,000, and then press Enter. So I've set the limits, and then either on the nav bar or using the actual view panel here, I can go and do a zoom all. And now that bathtub, you can see, is a lot smaller. So if I zoom out and pan across now, there you go. It's a lot smaller. I'll just click. I'm going to move that away from the UCS a little bit. There we go. So there's my bathtub there. Just hit Escape to deselect it. Now, we know that that bathtub in the original drawing, House Designer, was 26 by 60 inches. I'm going to go back to the Home tab, use my measure tools, remember, we've got those. And I'm going to measure from that corner there to that corner there, 1524. If you times 60 by 25.4, you will get roughly 1524. That's because you've got 60 inches in the Imperial drawing in inches. AutoCAD is automatically scaling that up by 25.4 because there's 25.4 millimeters in an inch. So there you go. You've now got a metric bathtub in your metric drawing. That's what changing your insertion scale is all about. Very, very easy, very, very quick if you know where it is. Saves you having to perform that scale command on everything after you've brought the imperial object into a metric drawing. If you just do a drag and drop and use Design Center with the insertion scale set, you're working smarter and you're working faster again.